Hi, this is Darren Lyle. Well, it's time to start creating shape keys for the character's facial animation. So I'll begin with the eyebrows and maybe we can do an eye blink for this video as well. The uh, shape keys for Blender are stored within the object itself. There are several other programs that where you have to actually duplicate the head or the character to create blend shapes or shape keys. But for Blender, I like it a lot because it's all stored within the object. To do that, first I'm going to have to select the character, and I'm, I need to unrestrict the character over here by selecting that arrow in the outliner, and then I can select the character. Once I do that, under the data display here, you can see the vertex groups that we created when we bound the character to the rig, to the armature. But we're not going to need those for this. Shape keys are created down here under the shape keys area. What we need to do first is create a basis shape key that everything else is going to be created from or based on. So here in the shape keys area, I'm just going to click the plus sign here, and that creates the basis shape. So now that I've got that, I'm just going to click the plus key again. And for this one, I'll call it uh, brow up underscore L for the left side. And let's uh, go into edit mode by hitting the tab key. So what I'm going to do is create a brow up shape key for the left side, duplicate it, and then mirror it over to the right side. So let's see how that would work. So for the brow up, I'm just going to select the eyebrow here. It is a separate piece, so I just hover over it and hit the L key. And with the brow up shape key selected here in edit mode, I'm just going to bring that up like that. Maybe bring it out a bit. One thing I do have in front of me and that I always use when creating shape keys is a mirror. And just having a mirror in front of you is priceless. It is the way to go. So I really recommend when doing this, have a mirror in front of you. So when I look at my eyebrows, when they go up, they kind of curve a bit like this. And in addition, when the eyebrows go up, the skin kind of um, goes up too. So I'm going to go ahead and move these up a bit as well. And now to test this, we can go back to object mode and then drag the value slider here to test how that shape key is going to look. So it's doing all right. I feel like it needs a little bit more. I feel like it needs, I need to push it a little bit more. It needs a little bit more extreme movement there. So I'm going to take the eyebrow up just a bit more. And then I'll take these edges up as well. Something like that. Now let's take a look at that. So I'll go back to object mode and drag the slider and see how I, I did. So that's not bad. I think I'm going to go with that for the brow up. So now that I have that, I can use that to copy and mirror over to the other side. So what I first have to do is take the value all the way up. And then I'll go to the arrow key here under the plus and minus buttons and choose new shape from mix. And what this will do is it will just copy any of the shape keys where the value is greater than zero. So you can combine multiple shape keys and create a new one based on those. But for this, let's just use this to duplicate this one. So I've taken the value up all the way. I go to the drop down menu and go to new shape from mix. And I'll call this one brow up underscore r. And now if I turn the top one down, the original one, 
you can see that this one now, the new one, also controls that eyebrow in the same way. Well, what we want to do now is take that and mirror it over. We can say mirror shape key. And now, when we drag the value slider, we can see it's been mirrored over to the other side. All right, let's try that again. Let's um, try a brow down. So to begin, I'm going to go back to the basis and create a new shape key. And I'll call this brow down underscore L. And for this one, when I look in the mirror here, it looks like the eyebrows kind of angle down. So I'm going to bring it down and I'm going to rotate it. And it looks like they also flatten out a bit. So I'll take this and drag it down a bit. Maybe this one too. I'll bring these edges down. And I'm going to bring these vertices down a bit too here around the nose. All right, let's take a look at how this works. I'm going to go back to object mode and drag the value slider again. It's looking all right. It looks like he, it puffs out a bit over on this side. I don't think I like that. So I'll work on that a bit. All right, let's try this and see how this works. All right, I think I can go with that. Yeah, let's work with that. Okay, so now I'm going to save. And let's take this all the way up. And then we'll go to New Shape from Mix. Give it a name. underscore R. I will take the original brow down down to zero. Test this one, make sure it works. Good. And then I'll choose mirror shape key. And there we go. So now let's test that. Good. So now we can look a little angry now. There we go. Okay, so we've got some brow movement here. I think I'd also like a brow sad. There's, I think, a difference between brow up and brow sad. Brow sad kind of angles down a bit. So let's try that one. I'm going to go back to the basis. I'll add a new shape key. I'll call this brow sad underscore L, and I'll work on this one here to give us a sad brow shape key here. So I'm going to bring this down and probably tilt it a bit, like so, and then begin shaping the brow with individual edges here. And once again, I'm looking in the mirror trying to figure out how my eyebrows work. All right, let's test this. He kind of looks sad. And if I combined that sad with the brow down, let's see what happens. Yeah, so we've got a nice sad brow down combination there. All right, so let's take the sad all the way to a value of one. Let's go to new shape from mix. Give it a name. And we can go ahead and mirror it over now. Mirror shape key. So now if we drag that down, we also get one there.
Now the last one let's try is a blink. This one's a little more complicated, especially since I didn't really leave enough geometry around the eye to do a proper eye blink. But let's give it a try. I'm going to go back to the basis and create a new key. And I'll call this one blink underscore L. Now to do this, I'm going to bring back the outer eyes that we created long ago. I've got those parented under here, right here, and right here, so that we can make sure that the eyelids go out over the outer eye. So I'll select the character, go into edit mode, and as you can see, there isn't a lot of geometry here. I probably should have added another edge loop here. So what I'm going to do is use what I have here for the eye blink. I think we can get it to work here. So what I'm going to do is go into face mode, and I'm going to bring these two faces down and forward to cover the outer eye here. So I'm going to bring this out and then bring it down. And I'm going to use edge mode a bit here to select, say, this edge and move this down. And try and move these so the eyelid comes down fairly flat over the outer eye. In other words, kind of straight here like this. And then I'll begin working on pulling up the lower one as well. Uh, the upper lid comes down farther than the lower lids come up, but, but we can cheat it a bit, I think. So now I'm going to take this lower face here and bring it up out over the eye and just try and work on bringing these up so they meet somewhere in the middle. So I'm just piece by piece moving these together until they close up. All right, let's see how we did here. So I will drag the value slider up, and there we've got a pretty good blink. As I said, I might have added a little bit more geometry around the eye at the time, but I think this will work okay. All right, so let's go ahead and drag this up, create new shape from mix, give it a name, and mirror it over. So now we should have a blink on both sides. All right, well, we've got a good start on our shape keys. In the next video, we'll work on the shape keys for the mouth and the cheeks and the nose. So thanks for watching. See you then. Take care.